と。So this is the room. It's lovely. Thank um, you. Tell me what you like about the room. Um, what I like about the room is that it's a big room. It's bright, and I've got a big bay window here, so there's lovely light comes in here in the morning. What's important for you, colour-wise? I think what's important for me, colour-wise, is that we don't go for something too pale or pastely. I think because, as I said, we've got so much colour in this room. I think I'd like to go for something maybe a, gray, a darker grey or something like that. Okay. This is a lovely space and Martina has some beautiful accessories and I think the colours on the wall at the moment are a little bit pale. What I'd like to do for Martina's living room is go a couple of shades darker on the walls just to make some of her accessories really pop. I think people usually tend to go for a light shade in their living area but actually if you go a couple of shades darker on your walls it can make the room feel a lot cosier and warm. So tell me a little bit about the house and how it's changed over the years, your style. Uh, this house is 20 years old. It's ever evolving, this house. I'm always changing it. For the makeover, I would hope that we would go with a colour that will be warm and cosy and just bring out all my pieces and my art that I have in the room and make them pop a little bit more. I'd like to get a sense of what end of the palette would work for you and what wouldn't work for you. I'd like to stay away from the, maybe the bright purples and pinks and pastels as well are a little bit insipid for me. So I think we'll go with something dark if we can. Yeah, okay. What I might suggest for this room is uh, modernism, okay. which is a, a darker version of the grey that you currently have in there. And I think that will really help your art and accessories pop. There's lots of colour in there. For your woodwork, I think yep. we might, we will go with nearly white. Okay. It's a nice neutral colour for woodwork. It's not too stark in terms of brightness. Um, and I think it'll work quite well with the modernism grey. Brilliant, sounds good to me. So let's get going. It is beautiful. Do you like it? I love it. It is really beautiful. Oh, my curtains look new and they're not. It's because the colour, beautiful. Love it. It makes the room warmer. War even though it's a darker colour, it's much warmer. It feels cosier. Everything just stands out much better and brighter and fabulous. I love it. My art even looks different. It's lovely. I'm really thrilled with it. It's I'm beautiful. Glad. I have gold pieces in here and I have some mustards and lots of prints so I think everything is accentuated in it. I think I love it. It's a warm colour, it's a cosy colour. It's definitely improved my room. Modernism is a great colour. It's a lovely grey with a blue undertone. It works really well with colours like yellow and green and it also makes Martina's artwork and prints pop. And grey is a really good neutral colour that most people can live with. A nifty tip for people who are struggling to pick a colour for their living room is to go a couple of shades darker than your existing colour. You don't have to do anything too drastic to make a change. Mm -hmm. 